Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing another leak code question and this is leak code question number 217 which is contains duplicates. This is a leak code easy question and it is, let's read it, given an integer array nums, return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. So if we go ahead and look at the examples here, we have our input here. We have it as nums, one, two, three, one, and that's gonna obviously be true because there are a value that appears at least twice. If we go ahead and look at the next example, one, two, three, four, that's gonna be false. And you can see here, we have duplicates as well. That's gonna be true. So let's start cutting this out and talk about what data structure we're gonna use here and we're gonna use a set. So what is a set, you might ask? It's basically is an unordered collection of items. So in a set, every set element is unique, so that means there could be no duplicates and um, it cannot be changed as well. So let's start coding it out and let's get to it. So I'm gonna create a set called scene and I'm gonna iterate using a for loop over my uh, list of integers that I'm given, which is nums. So for a number in nums, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check if that number is in our set. So if, if our, that number is in scene, we're just going to return true. Right? And, uh, and I'll explain a little more about that. <clears throat> if not, we're going to go ahead and just add it. So if it's not seen in there, it's not in there, then we're just going to add it. So scene is how you add to a set number. All right, and then we're just going to return false. Okay, so basically what is happening here is let's run the code and see if it's working, and awesome, it works. Perfect, so let's do um, this test case so we can see what's going on here. So one, two, yeah, three, one. All right, run code, and this is going to be um, true. Just taking a second to load here. But basically what the code is doing is we're basically iterating over our given list, right? And then what we're doing is basically we're checking if that number is in um, our set or not. So if it's not, then we just add it. So basically we're adding um, say one, and then we're adding, um, you know, then we're adding two, and then we're adding three, and then once we, this is basically what it's doing, we're adding that, right? So if it's not in the set, we're basically adding it. So this is our you know, list here. And what we're doing here is we're, we're seeing it, okay, well, it's not there, so we add it. You know, at two, it's not there, so we add it. At three, it's not there, so we add it. But once we get back to one, if that number is in already in our given set, then we just return true, right? Which is, when we run this code, it, it is true, right? And that's pretty much what um, our set is doing. Is it's basically, we can't have duplicates. So because it, we can't have duplicates, as when we see that number again, we're just going to return true. And if not, then we're just going to continue to add it. And then obviously we're returning false. If this logic isn't, isn't, um, isn't true. So that is basically, let's submit it. Awesome, so runtime 124 milliseconds, faster than 32.53% of the online submissions. And let's go ahead and talk about the time complexity. So the time complexity is gonna be O of N, you know, uh, for N times, um, you know, each operation that we do is gonna take constant time. And for our space complexity, using a set, uh, you know, by using a set, it's linear. Um, with the number of elements in it. So time complexity is O of N and space complexity is O of N as well. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.